peoples, welcome back! In today's video, I am going to answer the question about how can I make my toddler stop hitting the new baby? As always, I like to start by putting myself in the kid's position. When a new baby comes home, the older child usually believes my mommy doesn't love me anymore, my mommy loves the baby more than me, my mommy doesn't want to play with me anymore. Little kids don't understand why they have to share mommy. They don't know that the baby is delicate. For a lot of kids, the new baby is a new toy. As you have to learn how to be a mom, they do have to learn how to be big brothers and sisters and how to treat the new baby gently. Children are good observers, but poor interpreters. What does that mean? What they are seeing is that mommy doesn't play with them anymore like she used to before. But they cannot interpret her that mommy needs time to rest because she's tired. So what usually happens is that the older child wants mommy's attention back. And when he's doing something good, when he's playing by himself or doing whatever, used to make mommy happy before, that doesn't work anymore. Mommy is not paying attention to him. So now he has to find other ways to get mommy's attention. One that works really good is go and hit the new baby. Children, especially toddlers, they hate when they don't get attention. And for them, bad attention, it's better than not attention at all. So hitting the baby will give them mommy's attention. Probably not the one that they want, but Attention is attention. So before we jump into the tips, let's point out what I don't want you to do. Do not take sides. How do you want me to not take sides if it's clear that the older is the one that is hitting the new baby? The problem with taking sides is that this will become a pattern in your life. So you start, don't hit the baby, you're a big boy, you should know better. And what they are constantly hearing, I am not as special as the little baby. My mom doesn't love me as much as she loves the new baby. And when they believe those things, things usually get worse instead of getting better. Now, on the other hand, the little baby is also learning. Hmm. Every time I cry, my mom holds me and fight with my brother. The way that I can be special in this family is if I get my brother in trouble. Oh, Karen, that is way extreme. But is it? If I have a lot of people asking me this question, it's probably because it's not the first time that the older hits the youngest. So this is what we can do to prevent all of this from happening. First of all, validate your child's feeling. I don't like the new baby. Mommy, you don't love me anymore. What do you usually respond? Oh, you're wrong. Of course I love you. You don't really mean that. You love the new baby. I know for us it's so hard to even think about the fact that our kids are gonna be fighting, they're gonna hate each other. You just simply don't wanna even think about it. But those little feelings are real. They are really feeling betrayed. They are really feeling that you don't love them. So start by accepting those feelings. I know you feel like mommy doesn't have enough time to play with you. It must be very hard for you to share your mommy. Boy, you're really angry with the new baby. They will feel understand. They will feel like, yes, that's how I feel. How would you feel if you go running and then you hit your pinky toe? You start screaming out of pain and then somebody comes and say, oh, you're fine. That doesn't hurt. Grow up. Well, that's how your little one feels when you say, ah, you shouldn't feel that way, you're fine. When you validate their feeling, they feel like you are listening to them, that you understand them. That's the first step. Second, make sure that you spend one-on-one -on -one time with each child. I can't imagine how it is to have two kids, especially little ones at home at the same time. But that one-on-one -on -one time is very important for the older child. You probably can sit down with them and play the three hours that you used to before the new baby came. But I bet you can have 10 minutes out of your day where you give 100% of your attention to your older. Sometimes 10 minutes is all they need. Sit down and listen to their stories. Make it a routine. Maybe as soon as you put the baby down for a nap, you can go and spend that time with them. Maybe go outside for a little walk. 
play with their favorite toy, make that time special. Or if you definitely cannot do it during the week, try on the weekend to go for an hour with them, go and have ice cream, go and watch a movie, do something with them that doesn't have anything to do with the new baby. Don't even talk about the new baby. That time it's all about your older. Another really good thing you can do is try to involve the older in the things that you do with the new baby. Let him give the baby a bottle. Let them pick what clothes the baby's gonna wear today. Let them bring you a diaper. Let them walk the stroller when you go out for a walk. Put the baby down in the floor and let the older show the baby his or her toys. Ask the older to show the baby how to do things. You are really good at riding your bike. Do you wanna show the new baby how to do it? Doing that, they're gonna feel important. They're gonna feel that they belong, that they're still a part of the family, that mommy didn't forget about them, but that this is a team, that we'll work together, that we are a family. Give them positive feedback. Recognize every little thing the older do. They know when you are really paying attention to them. You are so gentle with your little brother. Wow, you picked up your toys all by yourself. You ate all your food. You give the best hugs. I love when you smile. When you focus on the positive things, they will lean towards that. They're gonna start forgetting about the hitting and the bad behavior because now they know that mommy is noticing more the good things that they're doing. Don't ever take sides, don't ever compare them. Yes, even when the older is hitting the new baby. How can you do this? Adding the word kids. Instead of saying, you older, don't hit the baby. And oh, poor baby, it's not your fault. Hmm. It looks that like you two kids are not in the mood to play together. Treat them the same. When the older is hitting the new baby, separate them. I am going to separate you until you both are gentle to each other. Then you can pick the baby, put the baby in a crib or in a place that is safe and tell the baby, you are going to wait here until you stop fighting with your brother. And then go and say the same to the older. You are going to stay here until you stop fighting with the baby. And you might think, that is such a waste of time. The baby doesn't even know what is going on. The baby doesn't even know why the older is hitting him. Yes, you are right. But if you do this, you are not taking any sides. It's so important to treat them equally so that you don't create a victim or a bully. If you think by taking sides, you're not only reinforcing the misbehavior of of the older, making him hit always the little one and he's the bad guy, the bully. But also you are reinforcing the little one's behavior, so you are creating here a victim. I need to cry to have mom's attention, poor me, I need my mommy to save me. When you don't take sides, this doesn't happen. The good thing is that if you start at this age, even when they are babies, first you are going to train yourself to don't do it in the future. If The sooner you start, the better. And second, they're gonna grow with no labels, with no competition. Yes, it's probably not convenient when your toddler comes and hits the baby when you're nursing him and you have to stop nursing, put the baby in the crib and then do the whole thing. But it's worth to go to the inconvenient now to prevent future problems. Don't talk and act. When you see that the older is bringing a toy ready to hit the new baby, don't say anything, simply stop him from doing that. Don't say anything, don't blame anybody, simply take the toy and put the toy away. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of this video. This is another really good video about positive discipline. If you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!